Hi, guys and family. Welcome back to Larry's Anything Goes. Hopefully, you guys are having a great and exceptional day. Yeah, it's Sunday. It's all good in the neighborhood, and we're about to go live soon. We're going to be talking about MAC-10. We're going to be talking about um, what unfortunate situation happened in Mexico with the kidnap uh, victims, and talking about Tiger Woods' situation. So that's another thing. But real quick, because I'm doing two things at once, I um, wanted to talk about the movie. I saw the movie Creed 3 last night. Great movie. Okay, real talk. And like I said, I, I will tell you, and if anybody who knows me, I am not a movie buff. Why? Because to me, in the last 10 years, um, a lot of people, a lot of movies just have not been that great. You know, if I could just be honest, a lot of movies have just because I'm not a superhero fan guy. I'm not enough. I'm not knocking anybody who's into the superhero movies, but I'm not into the superhero movies. I grew up watching action packed movies like Rocky, um, Die Hard. You know, uh, every single Denzel Washington movie for the most part. You know, those are the movies that I enjoyed watching. And, you know, like I said, that, that's my generation. I mean, if I could say the last 10 years, the best movies I've seen have been both uh, Equalizer movies, one or two, and I think three is coming out. Hopefully it's good. Um, but at the end of the day, and then Hateful Eight, um, The Magnificent Seven, you know, mo realistic movies, you know. Um, action packed movie, man, male movies, masculine men, men movies. And one thing I can say is that Creed 3 was a masculine male movie because you really don't see too many movies like that. And when you do, usually it's because somebody is a fictional character. And hey, I'm not mad at people that like, um, I'm not mad at people that like uh, listening or watching movies that are fan, you know, have to do with fantasy and things of that nature. But I'm just more of a realistic guy, you know. Um, so because Creed 3 was entertaining. One and then two, um, Creed three. Um, the storyline was still impeccable, falling in line with Rocky, um, all the Rocky movies and Apollo Creed. You know, obviously because um, Michael B. Jordan played Creed's um, son, and th then the individual who. And let me look his name up real quick because I don't. I'm bad with names, but then the individual um, who um, played the opponent of Apollo of. Uh, of um creed not apollo creed but um but uh creed michael b jordan's um michael b jordan's character cast of creed davis uh he was uh, on point and i love the fact that how the movie um jonathan majors yeah michael b jordan played plays adonis creed all right cool uh, but michael b jordan uh and jonathan majors who played the opponent within the movie i'm not giving that movie away i'm just saying uh one thing i loved about um, Jonathan Majors is he's actually from Los Angeles, California, the Santa Barbara area. Um, two great actors. First time I've seen him. I know he's been in a multitude of other productions and films, but like once, like I said, not a movie guy. But the fact that the movie was so Los Angeles is what I loved about it. You know, because I'm a, even though I'm from um, Northern Virginia, outside of the um, Washington D.C. area, um, I love LA is one of my favorite cities in the country, if not the world, and I love the culture of Los Angeles. Um, on all all aspects of it you see i got the crenshaw hat on rest in peace nipsey hustle but yeah jonathan majors did a great job the whole cast did you know uh from the guy who played drago um because they had real boxing stars in the movie um but yeah and then Teresa thompson whole great cast i'm not gonna say, i'm not gonna um talk down about the, the whole cast is great but jonathan majors because he's from la he really gave that movie that la vibe you know what i mean um, especially because his character is supposed to be from Crenshaw and the, how um, when they uh, went to Crenshaw and played Nipsey Hussle music when he came out uh, for both fights in the movie he was playing Nipsey Hussle's uh, music and especially um, when he was going to uh, fight Adonis Creed Michael B. Jordan's character the song Last Time That I Checked came on so it was a beautiful thing and I really loved that and I know Jonathan Majors I think he said he had something to do with it and he says Nipsey Hussle was always a great inspiration to him so nothing but love and respect glad to see that Hollywood allowed people especially the director Michael B. Jordan I believe this is the first movie he directed to finally get something right because I'm usually very critical of all Hollywood movies because majority of the time they're not for guys like me so um, the, for the people that like to see you know masculine slash action pack slash no superhero uh movies kind of guys like me and like i said these are great movie this is a great movie and i hope to see more great movies like this uh come of age so just want to give love and respect on that one but we will be going live within the next hour 
So come check us out on YouTube specifically. And then if you want to be on Facebook, go check us out on Facebook. Larry's Anything Goes LLC. We're talking about, like I said, Mac 10 situation, which I did not realize. Um, um, as far as with him and Ice Cube and the fact that, um, yeah, but I'll talk about that later. And then, um, you know, the situation in Mexico a little bit and then talk about Tiger Woods. And basically, mo most people know about what's happening, but I'm just going to get my perspective on it. So on that note, do the great three free things. Like, share, and subscribe. Have a great day. As always say, make money move. So you're going to let bro like a fool. Take care.